In this video, we will talk about uh, Oracle uh, date functions. Uh, we are going to cover the basic date functions uh, that's available in Oracle, Oracle predefined date functions. So let's take uh, employees table. We always uh, leave with employees table for examples. So select star from employees. If you see here, the hire date column, what you see, the date on which the employee is hired in an organization is a date field. If you see here, I have stored, the, the date is stored without any time component, right? So for example, if you see here, now the time, right? My system time is, it's in the evening, uh, 16.45. So, uh, but when I store in the database, I do have the option of storing the date with and without the time component. Uh, that's something which we need to be aware of as a developer. So going ahead, so when I will store it with time component and without time component, right? Say for example, in application in fields like date of birth, the day on which you have opened your bank account, right? Where it doesn't matter uh, that you have to store it along with the time component. Whereas, uh, let's say, right, when you are uh, booking a train ticket or your flight ticket, you want to make sure that the time component is also stored in the database. That is the time of booking, the date and time of booking, the date and time of travel, right? Uh, when, you, when you withdrew your money from your ATM or you did a transfer using your internet banking account. So those scenarios, I want to store the transaction along with date and time. But in scenarios like higher date, date of birth, right? In those scenarios, I don't need the so date of purchase. We have purchased a product from an organization, right? If you go to a shop and purchase, it doesn't matter to me, right? Uh, but usually in date of purchase, we store it along with time. Uh, but scenarios, uh, some scenarios, we, we are not interested in the time component. So if I want to know, right, the current time, so we'll, What's the function that I will use? I will use something called sysState from Duel. Okay, if I say, so sysState is the function, Oracle predefined function. If I say select sysState from Duel, I'll get today's state. So if you see here, right, I'm getting the date in a specific format. 21st September 18, it's 210-09-18. So if you want to change the format, I want to see the time as well, then in SQL developer, we can do alter session set nls underscore date underscore format equal to gdmon yyy and then i can say i want the time in right 24 hour format i can run this okay so before running this let me run this if i see select star from employees what you see is just the higher date select the state from dual I'm just seeing 210918. And now when I run alter session, I've done the alter session. And if I now try to do select star from employees, you can see the time component. Similarly, select the state from dual. So it's 4.48 PM, right? So you can see it along with the time component. So typically what we do is, right, if I don't want to have the time component stored. I'm going to insert a data. I don't want to have the time component. We usually, we can do, right? What we do is, I'll just say, let's say I will use the function called trunk and I will say sysState comma sysState from dual, right? So the trunk function helps me to remove the time component. So I can say select trunk of sysState, comma sysState from dual, and the time component is removed. So what is the sysState is basically, the sysState returns the date and time from the server in which the Oracle database is installed. Say for example, if my server is running in uh, US and if that server time zone is, uh, let's say, Pacific time, uh, US Pacific time, then it will return the US Pacific time, right, the time part. If the server is in India, then it will return, right, whatever the time, current time in India, 
that's what the sys date will do okay so similarly we do have something called current underscore date so select current underscore date from dual what it will return it will also return the current date as the name implies it will return the current date but it's the current date in the session time zone so session time zone means i'm connecting from india to a server in us so the current date will return my the time that's in india right i'm, I'm as a client i'm connecting from india to a server in us so sys date will return the us server time zone us server time and current date will return your session time so that's the different difference between sys date and current date right we saw trunk underscore sys date so going back to employees table right select let me just say select higher underscore date from employees right I can add right like uh, how we add add uh, I can add date I can add couple of days to a date function say I want to add a week then I will what I will do is basically I will just say select higher underscore date plus seven from employees right select higher date plus seven from employees so what it returns basically is uh, uh, let's let's have the higher date as well so we can understand it clearly so select higher date comma higher date plus 7 from employees so if you see 17 june you will see 24 june 2003 21st 28th so i'm adding same thing i can do a minus so plus minus is possible all right so the next logical question is can i add a fraction Yes, you can add a fraction. Uh, we'll see it after we cover a uh, few more functions with respect to date, right? So what happens if I add a fraction? Basically, it adds the time in hours, minutes, and seconds. You can add, add also. So I want to add 5 minutes or 10 minutes. You can do it. It's possible. Okay. Uh, the next function that we are going to see is months. There is a function called add months which helps me to add a month to a date so i can say select add months right from today i want to add three months from dual so basically what it does right today it's 21st september it's adding three months it shows me 21st december and the add months the value i pass i can pass it in negative as well if i pass the value in negative what happens three months three months earlier so it's september means july june right it's june so it returns 21st june so add months function helps you to add specific month to a given date and if you have two dates, then I can do a months between. So what I can do is, right, I can say select months between, and then I can have to pass two dates. Months between, I pass two dates. So I can say sys date comma higher underscore date from employees. right it shows what's the number of months between given two dates right so let me do it higher underscore date comma months between right let's run this so what we are doing is months between this date that is today 2018 and this 2003 so roughly it's 15 years sorry 50 yes 15 years so 15 into 12 is 180 so june to september so you get 183 the decimal shows right it's not the exact match so that's why you see all these decimals so in the months between if i want to remove or truncate the decimals it's possible what we can do is i can say if i use the trunk function in the after uh, right on top of months between then I can remove the decimal as well. So months between is another function, right? 
and there is one more date function i want to cover uh, that is called last day function right let's say i want to find the last day function returns the last day of the current month so i can say select last underscore day right of the state from dual so it returns 30th september let me do this right i want to add i want to find what is the last day of the next month so what i will do i will say add months last day of add months this date comma 1 right what we are doing is basically we are nesting a function like how i used add months this date comma minus 3 so first i am doing add months this date comma 1 and then on top of it i am applying the last day function so what you see is right next month 31st october right any number of functions we can keep nesting and there is really no restriction in terms of number of uh, functions that uh, right we can use say i just don't want the time component here what i can do right last day add months state comma one uh, first i am adding a month and then I'm finding the last day. Now I'm saying I don't want to see the time component, right? So what I can do is I can use the trunk function here, right? Select trunk of this and then on top of this. So what it does basically is it removes the time component. So this is the um, like nesting of uh, functions uh, or like uh, first we had add months last day and trunk so this trunk I can just do it for state also and then apply add months that may be right you guys can try this and if you have any issues you can post it in the comment section right so select trunk of last day add months so now going back to my question which I write in the middle I asked I want to add 10 minutes from the current time so select let's say select the state from the UL right nowadays we keep getting one time passwords so one time password valid for next five minutes so I want to find out what's the next fifth minute right so it's 503 so what I can do is right if I do state plus one right so it returns me 1657 uh, one day I'm adding if I add it in decimal I can get the next fifth minute so how will I do it so this is again right going back to the basics the basic what I'm talking here is one day right we know we all know one day is 24 hours right so one hour is 60 minutes so what is one minute in a day how can i represent right one minute in a day how we represent is usually one divided by one minute in a day right one minute in a day is nothing but is equal to one divided by 24 hours right it's one is day into 60 so if I want to add 5 minutes, what I have to do is, I have to say 5 divided by 24 into 60, right? So let me try to do this and see what happens. So what I will do is, I will say, select state plus, state plus 5 divided by 24 into 60 from dual so what you have 1659 1704 so I have added 5 minutes so what people normally do is you will see is divided by 1440 they multiply this also 1440 so you can add 5 minutes so if I want to add 5 seconds what I will do you have to just put another 60 over here you can add 5 seconds 10 seconds everything so a quick recap 
the functions that we saw today is right i, I said sys state sys state basically returns the uh, time from the server in which the database is installed and current date is your sessions date and time so if i'm connecting to a server that's in uh, us from india then the current date will return india's time right in my case both uh, the server and the session is in the same pc and then i can use the alter session to set the date format so this video talks about that select trunk of sysdate from dual removes the time component sysdate uh, with the time component and uh, the example over here shows you can add and subtract from a given date and add months keeps adding date for right from the current date whatever the first parameter is the date and you can say how many months you want to add or uh, subtract and similarly months between returns number right months between is a function which accepts two dates as the input parameter and then it returns a number the last day function returns the last day of the current month in which the, the the current month which you have passed right you have passing a date so for that dates last day you will get the output so this is a quick update and uh, we talked about also how to add five minutes to a uh, right for the given time i want to add five or ten minutes how i can go about adding it so that example also we have seen so this is a quick uh, overview of the date functions thank you